What's going on guys? Welcome to episode 2. I'll be getting right to it. Going in this room right here, right across from the dining room. And we'll be running into a statue here. I'll have a nice little item that you may want to get, may not. Now since you have me here as your guide, you won't need this. Well, maybe not as much. Sometimes it does get pretty complicated to find your way around here. It is the map of the first floor, so I'm going to go ahead and grab it here. And be sure to get that. Look at that. Look how complicated this is getting. Boo! Oh, okay. Yeah, I got it. Anyway, so you can go straight back through here too and pick up a dagger. But if you do that, there's a cutscene that occurs and a zombie comes and attacks you. And you pretty much have to use it anyway, because it's it's really hard to dodge. I never really do it. Probably 5% of the time I make it. So that's why I'm going to skip it. You can go ahead and do that if you want. Nice little side area for you to go to. I don't really get that ever, because right here, this little piece moves and guess what is underneath it all right somebody's looking out for me the man upstairs all right right when i said that the window breaks that's creepy all right well this one can also move but you're going to want to push this back because you can't push it forward because there's that nice little piece of the wall there you know, nice design guys and as i as you can see there I don't have any space, so I'm going to need to go to a save room and create some space for my inventory. And then we need to come back here to this spot, so if you got some space, go ahead and fast forward a couple minutes. Actually don't do that, before you do that, let me show you this cool little trick, see if it works anyway. The idea behind it is pristine. It's the word of the day. Pristine. Oh, they didn't even use it there, right? Anyway, you want to go... Oh, look at that dodge. Oh, right. Oh, right. Let's go ahead and kill this beast. Oh, come on. You're not dead. Let's do this. Get back up. Okay, <laughs> you really are dead. Now it's important to note here that these guys cannot hurt you on the stair except for throwing up on you. And that's important to know because they won't grab you like they do up here. Come on, guy, seriously? Oh yes, oh, I'm just being dangerous. Living dangerously, let's bring him down here. God damn it. All right, see that little puke? Oh my gosh, that was awesome, but I didn't want to do that. Well, it didn't really work out as planned, but I'll go ahead and show you the trick anyway. But first, well, let me go ahead and reload here. I'm more of a, a gun guy. I like to use my gun more than the knife. It's just easier for me. You know what? Let me go ahead and do this. Combine these, free up some space. Put this here. All right, that should be good. Need to keep that key in there. Then you get this little note. This note pretty much describes the incineration technique that I'm going to do. And what you're gonna need to do is, when you kill a zombie, you need to burn them, or they will come back a stronger zombie than before. Kind of sucks, but you know, it's the price of doing business. There's a lantern. Okay, come on. No, no. I, you know, I don't want the lantern. Thank you. There we go. See, got plenty of bullets. And what you're going to want to do is grab this while you're here. Be sure you grab this. It will come back to bite you. All right, refill this. You want to fill it? All right, should be filled. Let me go show you this cool little trick. Since I'm using the controller, to show you to go up here and push Y, open the inventory, go on it and push use. And what you're gonna to wanna to do is get out of the way as fast as you can because the fire will hurt you. 
Look at that, made it just in time. Anyway, coming back here. And you wanna go through it. Gonna go back to that one area that said we needed to go. All right, Let's make it happen, Captain. All right, go down, oh, oh my God. Running around doing circles here. Come in this room right there is the bathroom. This is where you need another crucial old key. And it is to your discretion whether or not you want to take this zombie out. I'm going to leave him be for now. Some other hallways I choose to just take out the zombies because you go through them a lot. I'm just going to fast forward through here. Sorry about that. Take the key. Now you got two. Get the hell out. Again, you can kill them. Set them on fire if you want. You already have one. Uh, canteen kill there left on there but all right make your way back over here if you can uh, do this better oh come on all right go back where you were Yep, all this because there is one extra space too many. It's very important. Like I'm even gonna look at this and you know what? I need to put the canteen away. Thinking ahead. Sorry about this guys. Sometimes you gotta do this with Chris. There's just I mean unless you want to go through the game with a um a knife, which is entirely possible, but I will not be doing it for this playthrough. So I'll, two of them, you know, automatically take up, oh no, come on. Two of them automatically take up for your gun and your ammunition. So those are two crucial spots. I choose to keep them filled with the weapon. So it's totally up to you how you want to play. Um, the knife just takes a lot longer and you got to stay out of their, their, obviously their range. But I guess that's what the daggers are for, to help you. There we go. You know what? Why don't I do this first? All right. Let's see here. Oh wait, no. Let's do the other side. Oh, okay, I'll do that later. Well, shit. It's taking up my, my inventory now. Hold on. Let me go get this magazine real quick. It was entirely okay to pick up that plank. What are we coming here for? So we need to come back in here. Again, I'm kind of getting myself turned around a little bit, which is why the map could be very important for you guys. So this is the door that can't open on the other side because the knob is messed up. But since I went ahead and got that wooden plank, I thought I'd show you the little area where you use it, which is back here. And um, what the plank is used for, as we shall see in a minute. Oh, let's go ahead and use the lighter. Go ahead and throw the wooden plank in there. And guess what pops out? A map of the second floor. All right. And now we're not completely lost. But anyway, it's kind of a little distraction. Don't really need it. Here's some herbs. Remember these herbs just in case you're in trouble. Because you can always go back and use it. So, here we are here. Make our way back. Again, I'm... Doing the long way here. But I, I want to hit, I want to make sure I hit everything for you guys, so. It's well worth it. Get every, every item you can. 
and uh, you know just have fun explore I came back in here for this now I have room for it so I will take it thank you very much Now it's important to note that a lot of people call this the U-Hall uh, because it is a hallway shaped like a U and it is actually an important hallway. So I will be referring to it, not a lot, but probably a fair amount. So anytime I say that this is the hallway that I'm talking about. Let's see, we're gonna go through the main hall, keep checking. See what's going on here. Now we're above the dining room from the very beginning with the clock down there. It's the upper area of the dining room. Come into this door. Use the sword key. I think I will. All right, take your immediate left and we're going outside this is a this is a fun part and it's a I say that kind of in a sarcastic tone because it is kind of a pain in the ass but you should survive it's not too tough not too difficult well it's only on normal Kevin that's why it's not too difficult well, shut up so what happened was you called the dog Wow, pretty much dropped the ball on that one. Look at this. Gotcha. Ah, uh, right before I shot him. In the face. Don't worry too much, because there is obviously a green herb here and they don't attack too much. I'm gonna, oh my God. There we go, my little defense dagger. Suck it, dog. However, I did not want to use that. Damn it. I miserably failed there. As you can tell, my shot is not the greatest. Oh, yeah. Have no fear. Probably don't need this whistle anymore. Discard it. I think I will, but in order to do so, you gotta go in and then go back out. So why they do that, I don't know. I should just let you drop it right then and there. But okay, do it the hard way. Definitely wanna grab this collar. Obviously is important. Here we go. Now here's another part pretty tedious but I'm gonna go ahead and take these guys out because it is another oh gotta reload there's another area we kind of go to often so you want to make sure really oh great look at this yeah there's that well, at least he's not gonna be bothering me too much Ooh. All right, look at that. Sometimes it takes 10 shots, sometimes it takes three. Let's go in here. See your little safe house. Now there's three bodies out there. So again, use that as your own discretion. I like to kill them. Oh no, don't need to combine it. I like to kill the guys. Let's see. Salmon. I just come in here because it's a little safe room. Nothing can come after you. A coin inside. So you're gonna want to zoom in, check it out. Oh look at that. It becomes an imitation key. Alright. Cool little gadgets they make, I must say. Now, what am I going to do here? I need to put up something. Oh, no, I don't. All right. So let's go back out of our safe area. Ideally, you'd want to take out that canteen. 
and burn these guys, or at least the ones that are just laying there. I probably will have to do that. Use an old key here, I think I will. Come on. There we go. A little glitch there, I guess. I was pushing the button to get in there. Alright, here's another little automatic weapon. Now there is a broken shotgun. We don't need that right this second, so I'm not going to get it. But with the kerosene, if I brought that out, I could refill it there. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Because I do not want these bodies coming back to life. I know it's going to be another two minutes. Maybe I'll fast forward for you guys. But maybe not. We can hang out. Chill a little more. Kind of show you the method behind the madness. What sucks is you got to take this out, right? And then you got to refill it and then you gotta put it back in. It's a lot of opening doors, a lot of little these cutscenes. And you know to some it might not be worth it, but I really do believe it is. You do not uh you know what? I'm gonna just use it right here. Why not? I'm gonna refill it anyway. Might as well use it. This guy in particular wakes up as one of those strong enemies. They're a little bit faster, they run. The zombies actually run after you. You're going to see one here in a minute with the next area that we go to. So, you'll be able to see what uh, you can have, I guess, a, you know, as many of those as you, as the game can hold if you just kill them and leave them. So, where's this bottle here? There we go. Still plenty of kerosene left, yes. And of course, as you keep using this kerosene container, it runs out so you know it's a constant struggle you got to pick and choose what you want to do I'm probably not gonna kill too many more zombies so I'll be fine at least not in this this mansion and not in this area certainly this is the one that I want so go ahead and use it back out of the way that was cutting it close Whew. All right, the other guy, I remember I stomped, so you don't need to use a kerosene for him. And as a matter of fact, it won't let you, so don't even worry about it. All right, open it up, put it back in. Keep it out. <laughs> you know... For this next part, I'm going to be ballsy. Well, how are you going to be ballsy, Kevin? Take this away. I may use a canteen. I've actually never done this before, but as I'm, as I was thinking, as I was leaving, you know, this might be a good idea. Might. I'm not making any promises. So come up here. And since it's our normal, it should actually work out this way. Alright, unlock this door. Alright, plenty of that happening. Mm, let's see, I can't remember which one it is. Which is probably not good. Let's do this guy. All right, well, at the very least, okay, never mind. I thought you could use it on him. That is one of the super zombies. So, he's going to be a pain to deal with on the way back. See how it doesn't let you? Try to outsmart it. It's like, no, Kevin, you can't. And thank God I left an extra space. Holy shit. Oh, that doesn't look too fun. All right, go back in here. Oh, yeah, duh. Use the uh, 
imitation key put it in and everything stops now you may get hit on the way out that the guy is actually kind of hard to dodge but um, you know we'll make the best of it we'll see wish me luck guys I wish you the same Book it. Oh God. Ah! Run, 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 run. Ah! Oh no. That was close. Holy crap guys, that was close. All right, you know what? Of course, he goes right there, but I'm just gonna take the long way. That was ridiculous. Yeah, look at that. Go back through this door. Go back into the room. Well, you know what I do have? Okay, I have one of that. 15 bullets, so I'm gonna go back to the room. I think that's going to burst open. It bursts open eventually, so you got to be careful. I mean, this place gets flooded. Yep, there's something's opening up. Uh, you know what? Let me go get this broken shotgun. If I can make my way over there, Jesus. I wanted to wait to get it till after that because it just made more sense. You'd have a space open pretty much automatically. All right, I think I will go back out now. Wait, was there anything else in here? Make sure you know what. Since I'm in here, might as well, right? Refill this bitch. It is refilled. All right. And zombies right in front of me. <laughs> that would be my luck. He's up there. I think that door did open, so. Let's go ahead and do this. And when I'm gonna put that kerosene back and the broken shotgun. Gotta keep these two. I'll be taking a risk. You know what? I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep my knife equipped. I only use that when I when it's absolutely necessary. I am on on caution, so I just saw that. So I'm gonna need an herb somewhere. All right, guys. What we're gonna do next is go through this room over here. If I can get there. <laughs> And then uh, use the mansion key, grab this little item real quick, and go back through the dining room. We're going to go meet up with some other characters. Should be a fun little trip. And we're going to get some pretty, uh, pretty good key items that we're going to need. As you may have noticed before, I do have those two slots open and I strongly suggest that you do the same we will be right next to a save room so it's not that big of a deal um otherwise you can do what i'm doing leave a couple spots open again i like keeping a knife and a gun just personal preference let's just go through the main hall I'm gonna go back up to my favorite room the U-Haul room, that is, as you probably know by now. Keep going. Ah, oh, my death perception is off. Ooh. Come on. Just bust through that door already. Make that door your bitch. All right, use the mansion key. How these guys got in here, I have no freaking clue. All 
Alright, this is a little cutscene here. You, Chris Redfield, Alpha Team. We're here to rescue you. Richard, what the hell happened to you? I guess you can watch it if you want. I just wanted to show you the first Please. 10 seconds or so. Then after that, it kind of forces you out back into the hall. And our next task is to find some serum, which it's showing you the location right there. It's that, uh, <laughs> it's the room we were just at, of course, naturally. But, uh, I come in here and pick up this key item. It's just a little puzzle, it's not too uh, strenuous. First thing you're going to want to do is do the far left one, like so, called the Sleepy Knight. You're going to want to push it. Sorry, I shouldn't have been pushing A. You're going to want to do the closer right. Then the far right one. Then this far left one again, because it decides to be a bitch. And then this closer one. There you go. So do this far right one again. <laughs> and the closer right one again. I think we've gone through them all. Oh, missed it. And then this right one. This always tricked me the first time I did this. I always wanted to do the left for some reason. I get turned around sometimes. It's not my fault. I'm sour. I'm sour, guys. I'm sour. I want to push the switch. And voila. We got it. A mysterious box. Ooh. Bring on the Scooby team. Damn, I miss that show. Have not watched it in forever. Scooby Dooby Doo. Okay, go back down this side of the hall. Back through this door. Keep following along here. Now you also do something with this box, but uh, we're not gonna do so right now. Oh, thank you. See, if I didn't kill those zombies, you know what? Let's just go ahead. There's going to be a zombie here. Go through anyway. I think I shall. Kind of need to go through there. We're going to get this other item, but not really. We're just going to do the hard part right now. Ah! I always think it's automatically going to go through the door. I don't know why. You think I'd learn by now. All right, what you're gonna to wanna to do is switch this first. It's just a picture. Yes, push the switch to orange. All righty, got that one done. And if you get this wrong, just a little heads up, the crows do start to kind of picking at you. You know what, I'm just gonna turn this one. Should be green, that is correct. And this one is purple here. All right, we got the matching set. Basically, you had to match the colors, the green, the purple necklace, and the uh, orange, I guess, bracelet, that is. Oh, and crown. I didn't say crown, I don't know why. Thought it might be a sweatband, but you know, back in those times. All right, what I, what I do is I leave this here. I don't take it with me right this second. So I'm gonna leave that and be back for it later. It gets a little tricky because you gotta remember to keep an inventory slot open. But uh, I think we'll be fine. All right, there's that guy again, all right. Go back through the door. Boom. 
Ooh. Now, I'm going to come in here. And we should have some gifts. And actually, I like seeing that herb there. I love it. Sometimes you forget about some areas. See, we got some, we got some presents here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some of these for me to hold on to, and I'm going to put the box in here for now. I'm just going to leave it in here for now. And again, you guys got to remember, there's no real right way or real, real wrong way to play this game. This is just the way that I play. I think it's easier to kind of collect it and then come back to it later instead of getting it and going to the graveyard and whatnot. Uh, you know, oh, I'm stupid. That was total waste of time right there. Well, I guess I was gonna have to use it anyway. Some shopping shills coming up later, but you know what I'm getting. But that won't be late till later on. There's no real use for the shotgun right this second. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these back to make room. Well, I guess I can hold on to this just in case. What the hell? Because we're going all the way back to the other room. To get that serum. The other save room, I should say. Alright, yes. And I'm going to use this because I've been on caution. Sometimes it's hard to tell because he doesn't really walk too differently when he's barely in the caution. Go back the way you came here. We're going to pass good old Richard. Alright, that was weird. Oh, other, other way, damn it. See, it's even easy for me to get turned around sometimes. All right. Back down here. Got to go get this guy his serum. <sighs> Let out a deep breath. Sometimes it just gets crazy up in here. I think I just went the long way here. Yep. Uh. That's what I get for not really looking. I gotta wait for him to blow up. Did not want to use that flashbang, but you know, kind of catches you off guard sometimes. And the greatest part is you don't have to worry about him anymore. Again, probably the smartest thing would have been to hold on to the serum. I wasn't planning on leaving that mask there. I just kind of thought of it at the last second because it would be easier. Oh wait, well, I guess. Oh my gosh. You could do it either way. Get this first and then do what I did or, you know, that's what I'm saying. There's options that you can take. No real big deal. Ah. It kind of sucks. Is it going to be kind of going through this way again later? It's just all about backtracking, man. Just got to keep up with it. It gets old sometimes, I know, but it's part of the game, man. That's why you're playing it. It's fun. Reliving my childhood is why I'm playing it. This was a tough game for me back then, too. It took me forever. But it can be pretty difficult. 
Now there's a couple things. If you go to the, get the serum first and then try to save him, you're most likely going to save him. I, he's probably dead by now. Um, which does alter the chain of events, but it's no real big deal because honestly I would rather keep the serum. It can possibly come in handy later. And yeah, he's he bit the dust, guys. Oh man, I just was not quick enough, but uh, his loss is our gain. Well, maybe, depending on what happens in a boss fight. The other thing that kind of sucks is now the serum is in your possession, but you need it, you know, to, to activate that little scene there. So we're going to go back. Here, through the dining room. At least this place doesn't get flooded. It's kind of your little safe haven area, and it's in the middle of your of your map, so it's a little bit easier to kind of get your bearings right. If you ever need to go to a spot that you recognize, just always head from the middle. Right now, I'm gonna go through this bedroom, get this key. I'm gonna leave that. See, I wish right here it might be a good idea to have your flask or whatever it's called, the canteen. Right now, it's going to get a little tricky. I'm probably going to get hit, but again, there's herbs all over the place. It'll, you'll be fine. Just kind of dodge them right there. Oh my god, I do have that. Oh, the magazine. Damn it. Now I really screwed myself. <laughs> See what happens? It's easy, man. It's easy. Easy to forget. Fortunately, there's a place right here. I want to put the serum away anyway. You just got to be careful what you pick up. That's I'm learning the lesson the hard way. Now I got to go in there and dodge two full standing zombies. I don't. It's going to be tricky. You might see angry Kevin come out. <laughs> but it's my fault. Can't be perfect, right? Even though we strive to be. Got a lot of stuff, though. I must say, you got a lot of stuff. Sooner or later, we're gonna be able to ditch one of these keys, which is going to be key. <laughs> I cracked myself up. It's full of stupid ass jokes. That is me. Just ask Chris. I think he rolls his eyes at me more often than anyone else. All right, let's go in. Meow. <sighs> we need this key right now. That's why I'm getting it. Put all the dodge moves together. Yep, see, that's not fair because I can't see that guy. Move, dude. Move. Now, let's see if this... Oh. Damn it. Should have waited. Are you serious? I'm in danger now? Damn. It's not good. Ugh. Yes. Oh my god. You're gonna hate me. Sorry, guys. I gotta go heal. But the good thing is, you can go back and forth, heal yourself. You know what I'm gonna do too? I'm gonna get that freaking canteen. Because it will also come in handy. You 
know what? No, I better keep that spot open. As I'm sitting here thinking, let's see. Need a first aid. Go ahead and use the spray. This is what's called amateur hour. Stay tuned. More will be coming, I promise. <laughs> as sad as that is to say. All right. Just keep trucking. It's all about the unplanned events. You know, I, you also have to be worried though too, because as you keep going, it can trigger certain things. So, you know what I'm gonna do as well? I'm just gonna go ahead and equip this real quick. Take this one out. Look at that sharpshooter. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna go ahead and unlock this, but I'm not gonna go in. I'm not gonna go in. Right. Yeah, fourteen bullets. You're going into the kitchen and you want to discard this, which is great, because it gives you some more space, obviously, that's pretty important. Come in here and get another coin. And the reason why I said I wanted to get the canteen is because you can burn this body, it ends up coming kind of a pain in the ass. Now there is there is a handgun uh, magazine right there if you want, and I'm gonna go ahead and grab this dagger as well, because I'm running low on my automatic defense items, which I may need right here. So I'm gonna go back out. Dun dun dun. See see how that body comes back to life. I think I want to do, well, I just trapped myself. This was not very smart. Oh, look at those moves. Barry Sanders over here. He should be proud. I'm no Lions fan, though. That is definitely for sure. But you can always appreciate good athletes. Good dodges, like I just did. Okay. I'm going to want to come back this way. Come back through here. Alright guys, I think this is going to do it for this episode. Thanks for tuning in. Check back for episode 3. I will catch y'all next time.